Hey everybody, so uh, the other day I was talking about uh, people I'm going to copy and how I put some traders into a watch list and I was thinking, you know, which one of these is going to make me some money. They were all Forex traders, mostly Forex, uh, and I found a useful thing about the watch list, so I thought I'd, you know, share that with you. If I go back to uh, that watch list, which is this one, June 2018, here are the people. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Now, all these people, I've sort of analyzed their statistics a bit. I've looked at them and I've thought, okay, they've been making money over the last four, five months, the time when I've been losing quite a lot of money. Um, I'm still keeping the people I'm copying, still have faith in the two of them, but I'm looking for some who, for whatever reason, tend to trade well right now. But there's eight of them on this list. And I've been trying to sort of drill down and narrow which ones would I really pick. Obviously, this is my money. I want it to actually work. I don't just want to pick someone and then it's losing. So it's best to do kind of as much homework as I can. So um, first thing about these, do you know when you go to their profile? All right, so let's say I go to her profile. There's the feed, the stats, portfolio, and the chart. I never pay much attention really to the chart. I kind of should, but when, when you look at it, it shows here at the bottom, it says performance is based on a $10,000 copy simulated results with a copy stop loss of 60%, past performance is not indicative of future results. What does that mean? This chart shows you what would have happened if one year ago you had copied this person with $10,000. And it just shows, based on their statistics, based on how they've actually traded, what would have happened with your money. So you see June, July, August, September, October, November, all the way through to now, okay? So you can sort of see this line. Now, when I copy someone, I'm often looking for, uh, well, who can make me money? Who's got a good return? Who's you know got a high percentage over the year? Uh, but also I'm looking for things like, if you go to their stats, uh, here you can see their statistics, what they've done over the last years. Risk score, now here, max drawdown. What's the max that they've lost out of their account size in a day, 6.2%. Weekly, the most they've lost is 9.16. Yearly, the most they've lost is 24.59. So those, it's, it's to do with risk. That's why it's just under here. What's, I'm looking for how, at the moment, the, mo the markets are volatile. So everything's going up and down and up and down and up and down, and it's easy to lose money. Now, one of the things I've heard from watching other traders and from listening to videos and stuff is that the people who make money, the best traders, their instincts for what's a good trade, they're right 50% of the time. I've heard, can argue with that, I don't know, but they say the best ones are right 50% of the time. What differentiates the ones who consistently win from the ones who wipe out their accounts or consistently lose is how much they can let the ones which are winning keep winning and the ones which are losing stop losing, how much they can cut them off, you see? So that kind of, to me, would show up in this drawdown idea. How much, when they have a losing trade, um, how quickly can they cut them off? Let the winners win and let cut the losers off. So. In a way, the chart is useful for that as well, because the chart kind of gives me this visual representation. I'm looking for spikes and dips, all right? The sort of straighter, now always it's gonna be like this, you know, that's the market, the market moves up and down. You can't react unless you're a high frequency trading bot, you can't react that quickly. But how much does it go up in a straight-ish line? Is the general line upwards? That's what I'm looking for. If it spikes up and down and up and down and up and down, it means to me they're not good at cutting off those losers. Do you know what I mean? They, they, they're drawing down all the time, then going up, then drawing down. They can still make money, don't get me wrong. There are better traders than, than me who have still got this, you know. But I'm looking for, at the moment, because I've been losing money for four or five months, and my parents have invested, you know. My parents, I'm, I'm looking at their account thinking, ah, who can I copy so they stop losing money? They've lost you know, maybe 2,000 euros in five months. It's, it's a horrible feeling. And I want to find people who are making money, but who have are as safe as possible. Even if it means they make, instead of making 120% in a year, they make 50% in a year or 40% in a year. I'm looking at the moment for that safety. So here's the chart. Here's the chart of this, this lady here, Patricia Van Heed. Blah, 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 blah. Now I found a useful thing. Because in my, uh, if I go back to my watch list, I have eight of them here. Now I can look at each of their charts separately and I can sort of see what the, what, you know, how that's going, uh, the, how those factors measure up, how straight that line is. Over here, top right corner, there's the icon, the cog icon. 
Now here, I can select which ones from this I want to show. Here I can change the view of them a little bit so I can see them as these blank, these squares or like this. Here, I can add markets, add new things, rearrange or remove people. Here, you see launch pro charts. Pro charts are another way of looking at the charts. They have slightly different features and different ways of accessing information. But on here, I've noticed that if I have a bunch of people I'm copying and I launch pro charts on my watch list, it does something very useful. It shows the first six of them side by side. So it's a good way for me to kind of get a glimpse of all those charts and just compare them visually in a very simple way. I can't see more than six of them. I can't see all eight at once. I haven't found a way to do that. Um, but there we are, I can see six of them. So very quickly I can see there's a big dip on hers. His is going pretty straight and he's ended up, it shows you what they've ended up with in a year. So from 10,000 to 15,794. This one's gone from 10,000 to 14,000. 10,000 to 15,000, big dip. Look at the similarity between these two. Now, either they're trading exactly the same thing. I'm gonna rearrange them just so we can see that side by side so I can show you how similar that is. Not quite sure what's going on there. Um, they're obviously copying exact, they're trading pretty much in exactly the same way uh, yeah, or something, because that's almost identical, even the dips here, you know? Anyhow, this guy, is one of the ones I'm looking at very seriously because he's up at from 10 to 16. And whilst there's the, this, you can see all of that, you can see this, this sort of straight line there. Um, and I've looked at his risk scores. If I go to his risk scores, they're, they're really low. He's managing his risk well. Same with this guy. This guy's doing well. He's ended up with 14, whereas this guy's ended up with 16. There's a bit more of a curve on that. Zam Zamaka, um, she's ended up with 19 from 10, amazing. Bit more volatile uh, uh, at times, but doing very well. Another thing I can do, if I get rid of this and I go back, let's say I can't see all eight of them, I wanna see um, certain ones, I can only ever see six. I can go here, rearrange and remove. Now over here on the left, you see these, if I drag it here, it doesn't work. I have to drag these three here. So I'm gonna move this guy up, uh, I'm going to move Tim, I think it shows six, so if I put Tim here, it should show him straight underneath her and we can compare those two. I'm going to move him and I'm going to move him up and, and him up. I'm going to leave Al Nayef out, okay, for the moment, um, just so we can compare. I, I've pressed done and it's left them and then I'm going to launch Pro Charts again. And, all right, look, so they're underneath each other. Look at that! What is that? Is that just a copied and mirrored account? Or are these two entirely the same? They're trading, must be trading entirely the same way. This here looks like the negative correlation to cryptos. I, to me, it looks like that. Negative correlation being um, they're linked oppositely. So when these go up, these will go down. So negative correlation. Um, so, uh, cryptos, everyone who traded cryptos Cryptos were at their highest, sort of here, and then went down. And so they were at their highest and then went down. So these guys have gone the other way. When cryptos were their highest, these guys were at their lowest, for some reason, and then they went up. I could go back, I could check their profiles, look at the history of trades, and find out exactly what was happening, sort of just here. Probably not exactly, but I could have a look. So here, here we have some more. So these two are almost identical. This one's made 15, this one's made 15 as well. Uh, here... Uh, Martin's doing well. This guy, Bierko, I can see that he came up, boom, straight up, and then it's been really quite flat. But he's gone from zero to 28,000. I'm going to go and look at his statistics to find out what's been happening there because that's unusual. Again, this one, he's gone up and then he sort of struggled the last uh, few months. Since the beginning of the year, actually, he's been struggling. I'm going to go and look at this guy because that's interesting. Bierko. Let's go look at him. Uh, let's look at his portfolio, what he's trading. He's got a lot of open trades. Remember, these are the open trades. These are the ones which are still active at the moment. Okay, trading a lot of stocks, trading a real mixed bag here. Everything under the sun. Uh, his chart. See, so here I can see his chart. He's gone from just shot through the roof, and then I don't know how he's done that. 
go back to his portfolio, go back to history, let's see, go back to one year, let's have a look at where there were massive trades. So AMD, he's making some huge returns on Ethereum, on Copper, on his cell Euro against, I think that's the, the Krona. This guy's been making some, some enormous, I wish I could drill into that and see when, okay, there we are, so he opened it on the 13th of February, closed it on the 24th of January, February, March, April, May. He's holding them quite a long time. He's doing very well though and trading a whole bunch of things. Lost a lot on oil there, lost a lot on a couple of, uh, a few Forex trades. 100% of that one there, the oil trade. But he's been doing fairly well. Look at that, look at the charts. So 2018, he's beat, he hasn't made that much. He made a ton there, June. I'm gonna try and zoom out on that, can't zoom out on it. So there, look, so he almost wiped, boom, down in December, that's obviously cryptos and stuff. And then he's been going up gradually. If I look at his stats, see it's here 2017 look how much he was making there 776 percent in 2018 this year so far he's made 4.73 i think this is just cryptos i think that's just a massive crypto thing has, has sort of helped him there anyhow i'm going to go back to my watch list uh back to june 2018 and uh i'm going to rearrange them again and i'm going to put i think now let's keep him in the same place, Tim, so we can see those two side by side. I'm going to move him out because that looks like mainly a crypto thing. I'm not sure if that's the right idea, but there we are. Uh, I'm going to move him out as well. Wasn't sure there. And I'm going to move him in. I'm going to press done. I'm going to look at them again. Um, launch pro charts. So at the moment, you know, tell me if you think something different from looking at these charts. Tell me if you see something different. At the moment, I'm really trying to just see who looks safest. Who would I actually invest my money or my parents' money in, you know, where I really, really don't want to lose it? At the moment, I'm looking at this guy, and for some reason, this guy as well. Uh, maybe not the most sensible. Maybe this one's more sensible, or this guy here. Why this guy instead of her? Um, not sure. I read his, his, his uh, bio. I was looking at them. It's kind of what I'm going for at the moment. Um, but I just wanted to show you this way you can see them side by side because it's quite a useful way to, to look at some of that, the stability of how someone trades. Um, and we'll see where I go from here. Useful feature. Never really used the charts before. I mean, I do. I give them a glance. But just for comparison, this is a nice visual, visual representation of, of the people. Uh, and I think you can do it with other things as well. If you go to... Um, uh, possible entry points. This was another one I did for companies, another watch list I has made for companies which I thought would gone really, really downhill and they might turn around and they might have be, you know, be a good time to actually buy them for a long buy so I can make some profit off them. If I launch the pro charts on them, uh, again, you can sort of, uh, you can do it with, with these as well with, with any other asset. Um, very useful with the traders though for me at the moment. Um, so there we are, little tip. I'll carry on drilling down and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'll copy them in my virtual. It doesn't make a lot of sense though, but I might do it anyway. Um, I've got a couple of weeks till I actually have the money to invest in them. So uh, I've got a couple of weeks more to look. If you've, if you've found any traders, please comment in the comments below. Um, I'm looking for people with uh, really the lower risk scores. You know, if I go back to... Um, this guy here, for instance, Alnayev, and I look at his risk scores, uh, you know, at the moment, average two, mass, max risk five, average two, max risk three, uh, kind of, I'm looking for all these people who have, who have lower risk scores and um, safer investments at the moment. Uh, again, you know, so there we are. If you found any, uh, please let me know. Um, no boom bust people. And uh, there we go.